Good morning, everybody. I'm in Miyazaki Prefecture. This is Kobayashi City. Uh, it's kind of a windy and cool day, but I'm here in a live stream because I want to introduce to you the Akia Bank. This is a system for abandoned houses here in Japan where um, outsiders can come and move into a community, sometimes for free, but I'm going to explain this all in, in bigger detail um, because we're right now in front of an abandoned house. It's such a beautiful neighborhood too. It's, it's strange to think that there was once a house that had no owner at all, and now it does. And this is the house right here, and there's Kanai who's gonna be joining me on this report. And we're gonna go into this abandoned house and um, that's no longer abandoned and talk with the residents who moved in yesterday. They just moved in yesterday. So we're gonna go inside right now. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel the nature all around it. That's fresh air. Fresh air. It's actually like sweet. <laughs> I like it. So let's go inside where it's not so windy. Yep. All right, we told the owner we would ton ton, which is knock on the door. We're going to explain this Akta Bank system to you in as much detail as possible. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Uh, Wow, there is a lot of space in this house. Wow. Wow, it's, it's huge. It's really huge. <laughs> There's Furukawa san again. <laughs> so we've come here as a team of people. I was really curious about this too. This is amazing the amount of size. Tatami. Yeah, beautiful tatami. Look at this. I never. This is this is way more space than you would get in Tokyo. And they just moved in yesterday. Uh, the owners have come from Okinawa, and they got this off of the mm -hmm. Akia Bank. And we're gonna explain a little bit about this. Um, so j just to reiterate, the Akia Bank. Akia means abandoned house. All right, an abandoned house is a house where uh, the there's no homeowners in, in there. They might have um, just passed away and nobody came here to take over the house. Maybe they didn't have any son, uh, children, sons or daughters. Um, there's just nobody to care for it. And roughly 13 or 14 percent of the houses in Japan, this is um, what I've heard, are abandoned or they just don't have an owner. And this can be a really big problem for the community. If you have abandoned houses all over the place, nobody keeps them, upkeeps them, takes care of them. They can start to um, rot or decay. They can become dangerous after a decade of sitting there. Uh, uh, and they kind of look bad. They're an eyesore, not good for any community. So Japan created this Akia Bank to try to fill as many of the abandoned houses as possible. Now, this was a big news story about a year ago where there were some communities that were giving away houses for free. And uh, I, I believe there were some places in Tokyo, just the population was declining and they were doing anything that they could to attract residents. And this is the key word. You, you're going to be able to get a place to, to live for free or, or extremely cheap, but there are some catches. Nothing's for free for free, but it is cheap. It's really cheap. Um, and, and I'm going to ask, look at the little cat. That's a good looking cat. Yeah. Every house has to have a cat. In our house, we have Kanai. <laughs> we have Kanai. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can check out the one in Kobayashi. Kobayashi is a really nice place to live and there are a lot of abandoned houses here as well. Um, we're going to talk with the owner uh, who, um, who just moved into this house, who's so gr um, gracious enough to, to show us uh, this, this Akia, this now not abandoned home. It doesn't look abandoned anymore. It looks like it's, it's somebody's home. With the cat waiting there. It's called Engawa. Engawa. Oh, like the balcony here? Yes, yes, Engawa. Oh, I love that. It's usually in, in older homes you find. Yes. In Engawa. Oh, we, you can't get this in Tokyo, can so you? In summer, we can sit there and get some beer. I you drink drinking alcohol, beer? Right? So we can pick some edamame. Ah, now you're talking. Very nice Japanese style. I'm really 
I've been having a good. I've only been in in uh, Kobayashi for a day, but I'm really digging the like slow, relaxed pace of life here. Um, I don't know. Would you, I'm just driving. I've got a rent a car. That that's the rent a car right here. And you really do need a a rent a car in in the countryside in Japan. That's our rent a car. But it's so easy to drive. It's so easy to drive around here that I mean I was kind of nervous about driving, but not here. <laughs> People are nice. They're waving to me. It's like what? They're waving to me. Drivers don't do that. They do that in Japan. All right. This is another tatami room. Wow. They moved in really fast. They've been really hard at work moving in. Looks beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. Wow, and this was an ab this this is, was an abandoned house until yesterday. It's very very interesting. All right, can I go this way? They know what I'm doing. This house is built by uh, one hundred years ago. Oh wow. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like no one hundred years ago. It's uh, this is a, so beautiful. A hundred year old house. Yeah. It looks like it's pretty good shape. Oh, <laughs> this is the kitchen. Wow. This is a massive kitchen and, and uh, breakfast table. I can imagine a, a family having good times here. Kids before they go to school. I can see a family living here. Wow. Very nice. I like this a lot. Can you see having a family here? Could you live here, Kanai? Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah? Yeah. I could see I could see there's a TV's on here. I mean, it's it's got life to this house again, which it didn't have um, just a couple of days ago. Uh, so I'm going to go and ask uh, Ayumi and Samejima-san. Let's go find Ayumi and, uh, and Samejima-san who are in charge of now. This this house in particular, you you it's it's rented out from the city so the city will find uh, um the appropriate people to rent each house and you'll be able to find it and it's a ridiculously low price uh, so, Sami Jimmy -san so we're gonna ask Sami Jimmy -san and, and ayumi san uh some questions about this so this is Sami Jimmy san and this is ayumi san Hello. and uh Sami Jimmy san is uh uh, Akia <laughs> ah. she's the in charge of the Akia, of the Akia Bank, Bank in in uh, Kobayashi. Yes. Kobayashi. Yeah, and uh, Ayumi just moved here from Tokyo. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to Kobayashi. Welcome to Kobayashi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a city developer, city project. Yes. So we come from abroad, from cities. We live here, and we try to help develop the city in any way we can. Yeah, and I'm here scouting out this area. I have never been to Kobayashi before, and I'm having a really great time. But this is one of the things that I wanted to research, the Akia Bank here in Kobayashi. Can anybody... Wow. wow. If they have the proper visa, if they have a job, I mean, the city will sort of have an interview with you and see if you have the right uh, situation to move to Japan and if you're legal have a visa have a job then probably it's okay no no nothing against foreigners yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really good to hear I think in order for you to live in live in one of these um, um, homes these Akia homes you have to have the proper you can't just move in like you can't just come from your country uh, for example, like in, I have family in India. They can't just come here without a work visa and, and no income and just move into an abandoned house and go, okay, we're here. We filled the house. I can see my family doing that, actually. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen here because you really have to be checked. You have to be checked out. Um, they have to make sure. The reason why they, they, they're, you can get these abandoned houses is because they want to fill the community. That means you got to be here, first of all. You have to be here and become a resident of Kobayashi. Pay this, and, and pay tax. <laughs> uh, pay tax, of course. Where's pay the tax. mayor? We shall pay your taxes, mayor. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> In hard currency. Yeah, important. That's important uh, to contribute to the Because the population of Japan has been shrinking for so many years, uh, it's important to start to fill in the blanks in the communities where they lost. And I've, I've been talking with more and more people that are returning from re, that used, were, grew up here in Miyazaki that are returning to Miyazaki and finding homes here. And Akia Bank is one thing that, 
uh, one of the solutions to find it, especially for a young family that's starting out, if you've got a couple of kids, this is perfect. You're in a safe, quiet, peaceful community with air that tastes sweet compared to the city of Tokyo. I'm, we're saying that because we live in Tokyo. Yeah. Is our air sweet? Yes, and the water is very Is the good. air sweet in Tokyo? Oh. Yeah. It is? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> It's not that sweet. She, she. I, <laughs> in, I heard, oh, no, 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 in, in Tokyo. Tokyo no, okay. In Tokyo, no. Gonna say, no, 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 no. Uh, really? What good kind good of air, air are you breathing? But well, Tokyo's air is not too bad. We have a, a sea breeze, but um, it's still like so much better here. Mm -hmm. A lot better here. Now, the uh, in Kobayashi, how many houses are available? That right are now, abandoned? that are registered in yeah. the Ikea Bank, how many houses? Mm. Okay. Mm. Like five or six. Oh. And there, we know there are a lot of open houses, but people don't register. Mm -hmm. So they have attachments to the house where they don't want to clean up. They feel it's a lot of hassle, a lot of work to register. Oh. So they, they're just left abandoned. So the first thing that has to happen is the, the house owner or somebody in the family has mm -hmm. to register as an abandoned house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when they do that, do they get like a tax break or something? What's the motivation to do that? Uh, just to have somebody living in the house because they have to keep paying the tax, right? Even if there's nobody living there. Uh. So somebody covers that for them. And also if the, if there's somebody moving in the house, then they receive a certain amount of money to fix the house for the person to move in. Uh. The owner gets that money. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Right. To and fix this... the house a little bit. So nothing comes out of his pocket so much. The city pays for it. For him to fix the house, yeah. to leave in a you know decent state for somebody to move in. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So basically, the city is like a, a conduit, someone who connects um, the owner with a tenant. Right, yeah. And it turns the house that's abandoned into a source of income. Mm -hmm. Now, the, this house here that you're, that you're seeing that Kanai is very happy to be standing in right now, mm -hmm. uh, the rent that they're paying is... Um, 35,000 35, yen a month. Uh, they're renting this. 35,000 yen a month is about $320 a month. And I got to tell you something. That is so inexpensive for what, for the amount of space that you get and to be in this really nice community. That was like the daughter sleeping there. And uh, this is just amazing. So basically this costs $320 a month to rent. And the, the lease is for... Uh, like a go nenkan? Ah, uh, yeah. The kayaku is for go nenkan. Yeah. So this cat's going to be for five years. <laughs> and, then, and then you can decide to either buy, buy the house if, you're, if you become attached to it, or you can um, negotiate a deal with the owner. So every single area of Japan has a different Akia system. Uh, I believe some of the stories that I saw last year was like, the, the titles of the, of the articles are like, Japanese abandoned homes for free. And of course, everyone's going to click on that. But the reality is that it's not, nothing really is for free. There are catches. You got you to gotta be resident and you have to pay taxes and you have to be here. The reason why is to be here, to fill the schools, to fill the shops, to, to build a life yeah. here in this, in this city. Um, I think this is great for YouTubers. If you're a YouTuber and you're thinking of like a base to live, you get a studio, you get everything here for a ridiculously low price. I think if you have a very flexible job, it's good. But uh, what I've noticed in the city of Kobayashi is more and more the town is, is starting to revitalize. And I'm, I've, Kanai and I have been walking into cafes that look like they could be in Tokyo. Yep. They're like, I call them Reiwa style. It's like the new generation of cafes. It's, it's pretty amazing to me to walk into, to, cause my image, I gotta be honest, my image of Kobayashi was that it would be really old mm -hmm. and it would be like Showa era buildings and kind of retro. It's not retro, real. it sort of is, but it's not. It's, I can see a lot of younger people have come in here and just opened up businesses and people are starting to make this kind of like the paradise in the forests. <laughs> it's like the very they got caviar here like who who comes up with these ideas this is the home of japanese caviar who comes up with this in an old community but uh, i i just wanted to give you some information on the akia bank now i now ayumi here who's hiding <laughs> no, it's okay you can hide here <laughs> you can hide if you do i come to you but uh, ayumi here used to live in tokyo everyone is hiding here 
No, 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 now they're gonna run down the street. Oh, look, somebody just... <laughs> It's okay. Uh, it's all right. But, uh, we can come in here. But I do have some questions. So, yeah, Ayumi used to live in Tokyo. I did, yes. You live in Tokyo, but now you live in Kobayashi. I live in Kobayashi. We moved out of the blue. We didn't know anybody here, not in Kyushu, not in Miyazaki. We didn't know anything about Kobayashi. And my husband and I were just like, well, let's just move. And we thought Kyushu was pretty good because it's warmer. The idea of living by the beach or the mountains was nice. Yeah. We have two little kids. We just wanted to get out of Tokyo and uh, have be more in touch with nature, have a slower lifestyle. Yeah, I can, I can, I can understand that because Kanai and I were we're thinking of maybe having a family, and where would you be able to raise it in Tokyo? There's lots of questions. Um, it's it's really crowded. Would kids really like living in the city? And I have friends that have moved out of Tokyo as well because they're looking for um, better schools, less crowded places, better. They want to raise their kids where there's fresh water and. Uh, like in a safer environment, if that's even yeah. possible, and where the taxes are lower too, and you can save a little bit of money. But there are challenges. Like I, I think I could probably manage if I lived in Kobayashi because I can be a YouTuber probably anywhere. Now it's very convenient in Tokyo because we got really fast Wi-Fi. I'm not sure if you're even seeing this in HD actually, because we, I'm surprised we have pretty good signal here in Kobayashi. But, um, like here in Tokyo, uh, in Tokyo there's lots of work, but in Kobayashi it's a little bit more challenging. I yes. think to to establish a, a, a successful business. I think that's the main main problem with Kobayashi finding a job. If you're a YouTuber, great. You know, if you can have, I think for people that work on the net, you know, webs and mm. they can choose where they want to live. So right. that would be perfect. But if you work like at the city or any other place, the salary, yes, it's not as good as Tokyo, obviously. And um, yeah, so that's what we want to do. We want to open our own business eventually and uh, we'll see how it goes yeah well we'll come and visit the new business yes. you, <laughs> absolutely yeah. we'll come and live stream there and then yeah. We'll yeah. Fill, fill the business Show with the customers success. yeah, yeah. Th thank you for sharing your story all right so this is what an abandoned a house looks like after it's been filled after 24 hours actually i'm really impressed with how quickly they felt they uh, moved in when we moved to our apartment last year it took forever <laughs> I don't think we've really full moved in yet. Right, we're going to go outside and finish the live stream outside. Okay. A little bit. Yeah. So this is this is basically what you would get if you get into Akia. So the other Akia homes, onaji poi desu ka? Like onaji. Yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. This is a 100-year-old house that's still in really good shape. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there the, a lot of these homes. Now the owners will get maybe some subsidies from the government to help to fix it up before it enters the Akia system because you don't want to have no one's going to move into a, like an infested house or one that has ghosts or a house that has uh, that's just in decay. So you get some money to fix it up, uh, and then from that money, the government once again will be a conduit. This is the Kobayashi system and then find appropriate candidates. And this, this is not limited to, to just residents of Japan. You can be a Westerner and get an, a house here in Kobayashi. You just have to have a job and just show that you can make a living here and be a part of the community. And, and I gotta be honest, the criteria is not as high as in Tokyo. <laughs> it's actually a lot easier. Uh, Ramsey Silent writes in, since you missed the Freestone, get something nice for Kanai. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Ramsey Silence. We had a um, very um, rainy night last night, mm -hmm. and we, we didn't eat a lot for dinner, so we're going to make sure that we double that up. The tempura was good yesterday. We did a live stream in yes yesterday, farm to field organic tempura. You have to check that out. Uh, we went and picked our own vegetables and then made it tempura like right away, and it was a pretty unique experience. A lot of them look like just leaves off of the tree. Makanai, how, what do you think of, of this Akia system? nice system maybe and very interesting because many in Japan so now many elderly people 
So we have many em empty, other, um, empty, houses. empty houses. So yeah, everybody is thinking about uh, what should I do for this house. So yeah. it's good system. So Kobayashi and uh, yeah, I sometimes I feel Tokyo in um, the people who live in Tokyo. So they need nature more sometimes for relaxing. So yeah. maybe Kobayashi is uh, really nice and perfect. Yeah, I have to agree. I'm, that's one of the reasons why I'm so I get happy when I go to, out to the countryside. I'm like nature, fresh air, good food, soba. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. But this is one of the reasons, and I think more and more people in Tokyo, uh, to, people are moving into Tokyo, of course. But there's a lot of people also moving out. There's a trend now where a lot of my friends um, have families are, are leaving, or people that have gone to university are finding that they don't like the work style in Tokyo, and they're moving back to their hometowns like Kobayashi and they're starting businesses here and that's why when we're walking around and we're entering in cafes around uh, Kobayashi station in the center of the town like we walk in there and it looks like brand new with wood paneling these are cafes look better than Starbucks we go in there and we sit in there and the food is all organic we walked in I'll yep. put I'll post a picture on Instagram of, of Kanai's lunch yep. all organic 99% vegetarian because there was some chicken in there but you can ask not to have that in there we're gonna go to a place later on i think for lunch where it's it's, it's all organic and there's so much like vibe that the younger people have added into this community like making things that they can resource locally in kobayashi and then starting businesses from that which is something that resonates with with people that are my age or younger looking for organic or free range or or just a better food supply a better way of living you can do that out here. You can do that out here in Kobayashi. So once again, for those of you who are joining us, if you do like, um, uh, this is a topic that I might go in deeper on the main channel. If you think this is interesting, click the like button just to show show your interest in, in uh, houses in Japan. And I'll do another, uh, not just live stream, but maybe something on the main channel. Wow, there's our rent-a-car. That's actually been pretty good. Yeah, the clicking the like button tells me that you like the content. <laughs> That's what the like button's for. Look at these trees. These are sugi trees, right? Sugi. Yeah, it's coffin, maybe. <laughs> yeah, these trees are awful because they produce a lot of pollen that makes me sneeze. But they are very beautiful too. Yeah. And uh, just outside the house, we have these beautiful. Looks like lavender or something. I just everything that's purple automatically is lavender to me. But uh, it does look really beautiful. And there's just, I don't know, there's just a vibe here. When I'm just panning around now, a vibe here to living out in the countryside that's becoming more and more attractive to me. The grass may be always greener on the other side. If you're living in a city, you might dream to live out in the countryside. And if you do, for just like, this one is $300. It's like $300 a month, basically. They've got a house for $300 a month for five-year contract locked in. And if you have a job that's on the net or something that you can make an income, you could save a lot. And the schools here are so nice and friendly. Oh, my word. Like, the, the, the lifestyles here, the, the vegetables are all right off of the farm. You can't get any better living than here. And if I had kids, this is probably where uh, I, I'd want to live. I don't know if it'll be Kobayashi, but I, I can see myself moving out if, if you have a family. I, Nigel, I am kind of sold. Are there cell phone towers? There's, there are actually convenience stores. Don't I mean, this is one of the things I was freaking out. Like, are there going to be convenience stores out here? Are there going to be stores? Am I going to be able to buy anything? Amazon kind of fixed that for better or for worse. Amazon, you can just get everything, anything delivered to your house out here. So they'll never not have like craft beer, for example, or if they needed something um, very unique, they could probably order it on Amazon and Amazon will deliver it, you know, here, probably by drones in another five years. But it's, it's just for me, it's been a pretty cool... Uh, story to to learn more about Akia, A K A I Y A, which is means abandoned house in Japanese. And the fact that the country has a bank now, the bank is now the bank itself. Um, some people might be asking about this. Um, I saw some comments. Isn't in English? Actually, all of the content so far is in is in Japanese. But if you use Google Translate, you can probably figure it out and get the process starting. It, Speaking Japanese is not one of the requirements, but it makes it a lot easier if you do, especially if you're going to be living in the countryside where probably people are not living, uh, speaking English too much. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to, you're probably going to learn Japanese super fast here. 
you're probably oh look at this like I'm looking at these pink flowers ah Siggy's Siggy's fascination is very te teacherly it's a big tree it's a small tree yes it's a small flower <laughs> this is for Siggy <laughs> It is little, I'm just looking at it. I'm attracted to these little beautiful flowers all around the gardens here. Mm. I guess the garden came with the house. You could say that. Yeah, those of you who watch the live streams, I get distracted very, very fast. Especially with food on the left and right of me. It's crazy. So there you have it. Um, are there any questions now? I have now, right here, I have the head of the Akia Bank who's in charge of doing all of this. So if you have any questions, <laughs> you can live stream it or add it in the comments below. And I've asked them to go and take a look at it and they'll be able to uh, mo moderate some of these questions and answer them directly as well. This, is, this city is called Kobayashi and I put a link in the description to show you exactly where Kobayashi is. Um, it's a Google map and you'll be able to see the whole town. Now there's right now five or six abandoned buildings looking, abandoned homes like this that are looking for a resident and they're increasing every day. And in Japan, there's like 14%, I read, was a number on the internet of abandoned houses that are looking for tenants. So not, I, there's 14% are abandoned houses. And it just depends on the owner or the family of the house to give it up. The reason why they give it up is because they don't want to pay the taxes. Because you still have to pay the taxes on the house despite you not living there. And the reason why this Akia Bank is good is now you have people who are paying the taxes that are contributed to, to the community. And um, it's just... It's a way to fill in the blanks and get the community revitalized. And the thing I'm getting about Kobayashi after just one day here is that there is, there are a lot of older people here, but there's also a lot of younger people which surprised me. And it gives it this, this really unique vibe. I don't know, it's, it feels like you're in a trendy community here in Kobayashi, and I kind of dig that. And you do need a car. You do need a car. Yeah. How do you get water? They have pipes, J.H. Like, Ito, yeah, they have really good water here, actually. Look at Kanai's skin. Show, show your skin. That's after one day. She was awful yesterday. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, after one day of onsen, look at that skin. I took onsen last night, and I took onsen this morning, too. Yeah, you're like, you're like 10, 10. I drink onsen She's drinking onsen water. The water is great. I feel so young though. I know. Look, that, that, don't get too much younger. She's already younger than me. Now she's going to be, she looks like a high school student. This is not good. She, she looked a lot older yesterday. The water, look what the water did to her. You want to come to Kobayashi right away. It's a fountain of youth, everybody. It really is. What happens after five years? After five years, you look like a princess. Oh my Seriously. Gosh. Kobayashi's water. I don't know the onsen. All right, you know what? On Monday morning, we're gonna do a live stream from the on okay. the um, the room that we're staying in that has its own private bath. And for the next couple of live streams, we're gonna be in Kobayashi introducing this place because I'm just really excited about it. Um, just got a uh, Elizabeth Cox. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Ponce de Leon would be was way off. He should have been here. Um, we have eaten a lot of chicken. Kobayashi and Miyazaki in Prefecture is famous for chicken. It's famous for Wagyu and it's famous for good pork. But, but, hold the horse, hold your horses because there's no horse here. That's in Komamoto. <laughs> Basashi, true story. Uh, the vegetables here are very, very good. And because more and more people, the veg being a vegetarian is not so popular here in Japan. It's something more in the West. Vegans and, and uh, pesco vegans and all these titles. Gluten free. That's not normal in Japan. And Japan's starting to adjust to the global diets. Halal foods, for example. I'm seeing that more and more pop because Japan uh, businesses are, are very gracious hosts. This omotenashi spirit is making people change to fit in the, the community that wants to come to Japan. Um, so I'm seeing more and more change. But Kobayashi has a, a surprising large number of vegetarian restaurants like like I don't I would even say like pure veg and that's for our my our friends in India that like pure veg where no meat ever enters the restaurant I think like one of those restaurants was a pure veg restaurant it's hard to give that designation to a restaurant but seriously there are people here that are very much into like the relax yoga vegetarian lifestyle I almost want to say hippie but they've got jobs hippies can have jobs too right I don't know I'm not a hippie Although the beard is not, not wearing well on me. Um, yeah. 
yeah the gas and the electricity is all paid by the by the owner it's all it's it's so sanju gomaya plus, plus the utilities yeah that's three hundred dollars about three hundred dollars plus the utilities so it probably comes out and utilities are probably pretty cheap too compared to tokyo yeah um what about gasoline for cars gas i gotta be honest with you this car is not guzzling gas this is a toyota corolla and it turns off at the intersections and then it turns and the it turns off at intersections and when I push the gas it turns on again. It uses a surprisingly low amount of gas. There are hybrid cars as well are increasing. Um, I didn't get a hybrid this time, but I got this one because I don't know how to use a, a hybrid car. This is only the second car I ever rented. <laughs> it's, uh, is that the missus with him? Uh, Ahmed, yes. Is the cat singing? Yes. The cat wants to come out. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's me. the cat yeah teslas we saw a couple of teslas uh, the size of home it's a great question by nosh the size of home uh so the akia wa itsumo chigao size edition different sizes different locations different locations different, locations, different, locations, different rent prices rent prices but they're usually cheaper than the regular Price, so saman go sen yen is just for this house. For this house. But it's usually Yeah, and you get a lot of parking. <gasps> wow. And and uh, she told me uh, that if you want to fix something afterwards after you move in because you didn't buy it, you're renting. Yeah. But if you talk to the owner, then usually you can negotiate something. It depends on the owner. It's case by case, but sometimes they're like, oh, do whatever you want to pay if you're paying for it, you know? So right. you can modify and do whatever you want. So, so it depends on the case. So this is run by the city, and the city is, is a conduit or, or like the, the middleman to make this happen. And the city is the one who will be investigating your background. Not really harshly, but they want to make sure that you have the visa, that you're the proper, uh, um, that you could live here, basically. And the criteria is not as, it, it, it could even be a little bit laxer or it could be stronger depending on each city. Each city has a different way to do it. Each city has their own Akia bank, right? Each city has their own Akia yeah. bank. They have their own system too. So they have their own systems too. This is Kobayashi system. This is the system um, that you can find here. And, and as more and more owners are entering the Akia bank just because they don't want to pay the taxes, more and more s situations where you could come here and rent a house and live here and be part of this vibrant community, which is exciting with young people. She could live here. She's young. I'm young, for all you know. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Well, if, if you have any more questions, is there any mo move in fees? No, there's no key money. No reiki, no shikiki, no key money, no move-in money, no deposits, no... It's just get, get, your, get your butt in here. All right, I just can't say it any clearer than this. They just want to get you to move in here and be a part of the community. That is their motivation. It's not to become, you know, like, like rich landowners. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. But it, for me, I think that the community just wants to get people in here. And that's their motivation for giving cheap rent, for finding a solution to a problem that's existing in the communities in Japan. Um, why is there no bullet train video? You can write that a hundred times. Because bullet train videos require permission, and I don't have JR's permission, and if, you, and if you don't get the permission, you probably shouldn't put the video on there, so all the people doing it don't have permission. Although, I, if I do make a bullet train video, it's going to be the best bullet train video ever made, because I'll have <coughs> permission. And I'm working on that, actually. I'm working on that. Because there's a new there's a new Shinkansen line coming um, to uh, Japan in 2025, and I'm trying to get ahead on that that one too. Uh, one one last question is how do you get to Miyazaki? How do you get to Kobayashi? You get to Kobayashi um, probably by airplane for most of you. <laughs> you want to fly in. The closest airport is Kobayashi is unique. It's between Kagoshima Airport and Miyazaki Airport. We came from Miyazaki. It was about an hour drive hour and 15 minutes if you stop at a rest stop to get a metal pond because I stopped and got metal pond yep. uh, it was pretty good too so it took us an extra 15 minutes but it takes an hour from Miyazaki Airport and it takes it takes a, a little bit less than that from Kagoshima Airport I like flying into Miyazaki because they have palm trees and it looks tropical 
But Kagoshima Airport's pretty good too. Kagoshima Airport's kind of far from Kagoshima City, by the way. It's sort of it's sort of closer closer to Miyazaki's border <laughs> than it is from Kagoshima City. So either airport's good, or you can even fly into Fukuoka, uh, the airport there, and 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 then take a bus. They have highway buses that'll come here uh, in a couple of hours. Or if you do fly into Miyazaki, you fly into Tokyo and then take a plane to Miyazaki or to Kagoshima. There are low cost carriers that will fill in the blank. I believe the to Kagoshima Jetstar is the cheap one, and that the, the price is gonna be like forty to fifty dollars. That's like a bargain, right? $50 to fly. It would cost you $250 on the Shinkansen to go to Kagoshima or $50 on a cheap flight from Tokyo in, in a tenth of the time. So it makes sense to fly sometimes. And Kagoshima is one of those. And Kobayashi is one of those destinations that's really, really cheap. Yeah, no, no, it's just going 500 If you do like what you're watching, click that uh, like button um, because that's indication to do more of these Akia videos. Now, the, uh, to get the Kobayashi, a rented car is probably the best way. Yep. Uh, we're going to go to visit maybe uh, some caviar. There's so many things I'm really curious about Kobayashi. We're going to show you tomorrow the onsen ryokan, the, the room that we're staying in, which is like amazing, the experience that we've had. We're also going to show you some, um, some of the other things. There's a, there's a restaurant that, that serves, Caroline's not going to like this, but Koi. They, Koi is one of the unique cuisines that they make here. Um, so... Because the water is so clean here in Kobayashi, the fish is really good too. And we're going to try some of that uh, later on today. So this is like a, go a live streaming game day. So make sure your notifications are on. If you look on Instagram or your Patreon supporter, everyone who, who gives a little bit on Patreon will get the notifications um, like 10, 15 minutes before they start. And I want to make sure that you don't miss any of the live streams. So can I... Do you have any final comments? Um, see you later. That's a good final comment. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Yeah, we're coming back soon in a live stream. See you later. It looks like the weather, it looks like it could rain at any moment. It going in and out of sun. There's a little bit of wind. But I'm going to end, end with you this beautiful Akia house that is no longer an Akia house. This was once abandoned. And now it's it's the beautiful home from uh, residents, a couple from, from Okinawa that moved here. And now they're part of the Kobayashi community. And I'm walking backwards and I don't want to walk into the farm. So this could, uh, this could be yours.